everyone, this is Robert again, coming at you with another video. Well, today's video, I'll be showing you my camp cook tins, or camp cook pots and frying pans. Now, I, I've had these for a very long time, and, and I'll show you, like, which one I would be using for camping, and the one I would be using for my um, bushcraft videos at my new bushcraft camp. Well, this one in the blue canvas pouch bag is a Tech Sport Authentic Adventure Gear. Now, this is a nice. First, I'll show you this, my little um, pan and steamer. I got these from a frozen dinner at the grocery store, and I washed them out, put them in the dishwasher. They're very heat resistant, so you can put hot food in here. So I decided to put this right on here. I have another one of these in this one too. Alright, the frying pan has the two handles right here. Nice little stainless steel frying pan. Copper bottom. You can even use this as a sign signaling device if you want to, or if you need to. But nice sturdy stainless steel. Pretty sturdy. I have a bag of all these salt packets for seasoning. Then I have this, the cooking pot with this nice handle that stays up if it's on the fire. If I can get, get the stick in here and pick it up and pull it off the fire. It's at the copper bottom too as well. So. Not too sure how many liters this is. I don't have either of the main um, the boxes for them because I've had them for so long. I just threw out the boxes years ago. But this may be one and a half, maybe two quarts, but it's pretty good. Yeah, there's a little hook in here, so if I pull it up all the way, it can't go down. I have to push it down a little bit. So, that's this one. More than likely, I will use this one for when I'm at a campground. Because it's kind of big. I'll keep this up for now. It's kind of like hot, a little high and bulky. This one, I'm not too sure what kind it is. It's had this nice mesh bag. It has a little strap to keep it together. This is a frying pan and the handle. So when it's on the fire or on the grill, put the handle in and you grab it. Have another bag of salt packets. Another one of those st steamers and bowl that fits perfectly in here. This one, the this one, I gotta put upside down, and you can see like it's coming out a little bit. But as long as I have it in the bag, it'll hold up. Then I have. This little pan. This is probably a one quart. Maybe a one and a half quart. But this looks pretty nice. I think this is non stick. I'm pretty sure this looks like non stick, like the black in it, but I don't think I 
should be burning anything in here. Hopefully I don't burn this, because that won't be any good. And you don't see any marking for how many quarts this is, but eh. good to fry up something else while you have something cooking in here. So and let's go right here. And it closes up nicely. Now this one, this, these handles flap out. They're gonna get a small bungee cord and bungee this handle over here to the, this one over here. But as you can see, this, the red one is smaller than the stainless steel one. It's like about a quarter of the size. So, more than likely this one, or maybe even just, I'll just bring the frying pan if need be. I'll bring this to, I'll be bringing this to my new bushcraft camp. So when I start cooking some stuff, like some more bannock bread, or maybe I'll try some um, cornbread with, some corn, like cornmeal, make some cornbread in my camp. But soon I'll be going out there and I'll be cooking my first little meal out in my new bushcraft camp. I'm gonna leave this out. I'm gonna find a, I'm gonna find a small. I'm gonna strap this down. There it is. My two, my two camp cook sets. One for camping, one for bushcraft. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. And then I'll catch you on my next video. More than likely at my new bushcraft camp. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, hit that like button, and please comment. This is Robert, thank you for watching.